out. Uh, so this video is going to be a breakdown between which one should you guys pull for. So on Friday, we have Surprise Invocation of Spirits. It is the one plus one. Uh, that will be going through Friday and Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have the Nascent Banner, which is a guaranteed new legendary that you do not own. Um, honestly, these are two of the best banners in the game. They are so good for accounts. Um, it, like Nascent allows you to narrow down. Maybe you're missing some of the key heroes like a Silas or an Eloin or a Hex. Um, maybe you have a ton of the non-ancient exclusive lords left in the pool. And it could almost be a guaranteed lord. It is such a good uh, summon pool. And then you have Surprise Invocation of Spirits, which in general I think is just the best banner overall in the game. Um, I've had some of my best pulls on this banner. Uh, like when I was, I was telling people the other day when I first started my account, I was like week two in. I had a Surprise Invocation and I got Virna and Comet on my thing. And I already had Silas. So it was like my account was basically set after that. Um, but that does, like, you could just be one of the people that pulled double as or double crash, and it could just be a day ruiner. Um, there's also that, but overall for one plus one, I feel like I have had some of the best pulls and my account changing pulls have come from that banner. I've pulled multiple Lords on that banner. Um, I don't know why, but for a lot of people, the plus one seems to come out a Lord a lot of the time. It is it's very, very common, I would say. And there hasn't been any proven fact that the Lords come out more, but I think I've pulled three Lords on the plus one, and I've seen tons of guildmates and tons of other friends hit that plus one and it'd be a Lord. So, like I said, it's not confirmed. Don't, it's just tinfoil hat suspicion that there could be some improved rates. Uh, but I just really want to talk about which one values which. So... As far as, like, if you're an early game account, there's no question about it. You should be pulling one plus one. Um, it's just going to be better for your account overall. Uh, you're missing so many champs as it is, so your Nascent isn't going to be very narrow. There could be so many champs in your Nascent pool that the new champ could just be, like, a crotch or uh, just something not very useful. While one plus one, you have at least two chances of getting something that your account needs. Um, I, I really wanted to mention, like, bring this into what I'm doing. Uh, so currently I'm 40 away from pity. I have what, about 40 shards at the moment. We have reset Monday with Nascent as well. So by the time Monday rolls around, I'll probably have another 20, 30 pulls after reset and everything. Generally you get like quite a bit through the shop and everything, uh, throughout the week. Um, so I probably will legitimately have, with the diamonds and all, maybe 80, 90 pulls on this end. So I'm going to try to get lucky on that as well. Like, say I bust 10, and then I have 120 pulls on this end. I like those odds. Uh, but that is definitely not the choice for everyone. Like I said, early counts, 100% go to uh, 1 plus 1. You really have to look down at the breakdown of what you could pull in this end. And where your value could come. Like I said earlier, if you have a narrow pool, like I have a guildmate, for example, that literally only has King Hars left. So he's a guaranteed King Hars on this end. Obviously, it's going to be an obvious pull for him. Um, most other people aren't in that pool. Maybe there are a lot of people that just have Lords left. I know that's been the case for a lot of people over time, especially if you've been playing since launch. You've accumulated a lot of Legos. You pulled on a lot of banners. You might only be missing a few. Uh, and if that's the case, Nascent is the banner for you. Uh, but, like I said, it's something you gotta go look through. Like, I have three good champs here. I have only one champ here. These are both exclusives, so I can't pull either of those. Those are ancient exclusives. Uh, here I have nothing but pretty much good pulls. Torador, Salazar, Valeria, Ares, and then I have Azor and Magmus, who are what I would consider mid to below average. Um, yeah, they have their uses for sure. Like he could be using gear dungeon too. He's a lot of people are using him as a stun target with an exclusive. Like I said, the, it's not like they're horrible champs, but it's not champs that you're going to get excited for. Uh, curse cult. I've got some champs to be excited for with Cerberus Magda. Uh, actually both of those fin help me finish faction trials, which essentially get me a whole nother champ in general. So 
that's the other reason I'm liking these banners so much. It's like I can hit one plus one, hit an ascent, and then get another Lego on top of the card. So it's like four Legos for two at this point. Uh, Morgan. And then we got exclusives there. Infernal, nothing. Piercer, only Araka. Esoteric, another Lord. Boreas, Seraphina. So some great pulls in there as well. So it's like I have a ton of good pulls on the scent. But yet I'm still choosing to pull one plus one. Part of it's the degen in me that just likes to pull. Um, so it's not like fully recommended. Like like I said, it's like if I just go through the weekend and I bust pity on Azor or something, I'm gonna be disappointed. There's no question about it. It's like it's a new champ, but it's not a new champ I want. Uh so I'm willing to take the gamble on one plus one. Maybe I hit an Azor there and I get super lucky. And then I hit an ascent later on. It's like that's perfect end game scenario for me. Uh, but who should be pulling on one plus one? Like I said, new accounts. Your pool isn't wide, like a full of variety. Like you have uh, just so many champs left in the pool. Um, you're just going to get more value, especially if you were able to snipe two new ones in there. Uh, and then, yeah, those are like the two accounts that really should be pulling for one plus one. And as far as an ascent, um, the only ones that should really be pulling on that banner are those that don't have a super wide variety of a pool. Um, like I said, if your pool is, you have 40, 50 legendaries left and there's like five or six bad draws, it's just, it's still going to be hurtful if you pull one of those bad draws. But once again, you could get one of those crazy lucky and you could hit like a Torador or something that you're missing. So there's a... There's always the gamble in it. Um, I would definitely suggest going one plus one first. I, I still think it's the best value in the game. Like I said, an ascent is only for a few people. But yeah, that's my opinion on it. Uh, let me you guys know what you guys are pulling this weekend. Uh, I will do a summon on Kratos tomorrow. Uh, we will be pulling. Like I said, I'll have a summon video out uh, tomorrow as well with my one plus one i'll be actually hitting one plus one on two accounts tomorrow and then i'll probably do eventually a full degen polling on monday i'll probably wait till monday with everything i accumulate and uh see if we can get lucky on that one as well but yeah that's all for this one uh like i said let me know what you guys are doing let me know if you guys have any questions of it if you should pull or not um i've had a lot of feedback in the comments the past few days of uh, people just writing me and asking questions which is great um also if you have more questions feel free to join my discord i have a really active community in there uh chats aren't going crazy but it's like everyone's quick to respond in there uh we got a lot of high high information people in there so uh yeah definitely join the discord and then like i said tomorrow i will do a summon video and then i will also do a should you summon on the praetis banner uh, i will have a praetis guide out later this week for those lucky individuals that hit praetis Luckily, I've had a ton of experience with him as well. Uh, I'll show you some breakdowns of like Gear Dungeon 2, uh, or not Gear Dungeon, uh, Gear Raid 2, Guild Boss 2, and then probably some arena comps that I've been running with him as well. But yeah, that's all for this one. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, questions in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.